late afternoon in the busy Wangtong Peng district of Phnom Penh, and Sotpunarath is hard at work, making sure orders are ready for the week ahead. The welding company which Sotko manages is called Kanpoang and makes molds for pipes and windows. Business is thriving with a steady stream of orders. Sok has developed Kan Puang with the help of an $8,000 business loan from Satapana Bank to purchase machinery. It's meant she's been able to expand the business and take on new staff. But Sok's case is the exception rather than the norm for small businesses in low to middle income economies, where access to credit is very difficult. For the businesses to get credit, um, uh, because they're this size, is extremely difficult. Um, for a variety of reasons, both on the part of the business itself and on the institution wanting to lend or invest in them. For a bank, to make a small loan, it's as expensive as to make a loan to a larger concern. So making a loan of $5,000 can be as expensive as making a loan for $50,000. So if you're allocating your, your resources, you make more $50,000 loans and you think about making $5,000 loans. So these two problems sort of clash against each other and mean that small businesses are now known as the missing middle. A joint initiative from Oxfam, the investment company Symbiotics, with support from the City of London aims to change this. The Small Enterprise Impact Investment Fund partners with local intermediaries that are developing financial services for businesses employing between 5 and 100 people. Two of the financial intermediaries the fund is working with are the Cambodian bank Satapana and Hast Leasing in Mongolia. The aim of the project is twofold. So initially we want to increase access to capital for small enterprises and in doing so create employment. But we also want to participate in forming the infrastructure of the small business banking in these economies and make them more aware of social issues when they do their lending. Leasing is one of the easiest ways to fund emerging businesses in the developing world. This type of financing is particularly relevant in emerging markets such as Mongolia for enterprises that lack sufficient collateral or credit history. Tong Van Pharmaceutical Company in the capital city Alambatar supplies hospitals and pharmacies with their products. It was established in 2004, employing 17 workers. It now has over 60 staff. Hasbank has leased Tong Farm machines to produce medicine and clothing. Social investment, impact investment, is a relatively new concept, but an exciting one because it gives investors the opportunity to generate positive social benefit, but at the same time to get their money back. And that offers the opportunity to recycle your capital so you can continue to use that for social good. We wanted to create something that was sustainable in the long term and that would attract private capital rather than being reliant on aid money. So rather than philanthropic capital, we're, we're getting investment capital. CF has borrowed a total of $40,000 in three separate loans. She's exporting her clothes to different shops in Singapore, Thailand and China and is now able to give employment to far more women.